welcome to another little green workshops video tutorial this one is about how to get to trace with your soap and then how to pour it into the mold so we're going to use a stick blender now this is a uh, video carry on video from the first one where we talked about care with lye and water and this one is we're using a stick blender here and you can see that uh, we're stirring that vigorously making sure that we don't lift the stick blender off of the bottom unless it's off absolutely essential you don't want to splash this stuff on you it still is very caustic and it will burn your skin make sure you've got safety glasses on you've got rubber gloves long sleeves when you're doing this part anyway what i'm trying to do here is and uh, you can see that i keep lifting it occasionally i'm trying to see if the stick blender leaves a mark on the surface of the soap now it does take about three to four minutes for it to get to trace sometimes a little bit less so not quite there still so we need to blend it a little bit more so this just speeds up the saponification process and that's the process where the lye water turns the oils into a solid and that's what we're trying to achieve here and the solid obviously becomes soap We're getting very close. In fact, um, I've got the stick blender, I can uh, take the end off of that. So I just tap off as much as I can and then I just go pop that in the warm soapy water in the sink now. My wife Kim, she's adding in uh, poppy seeds. We're gonna make an exfoliant scrub here. Uh, it'll be very nice. Now we haven't added any fragrance or any color into this batch of soap. So now what I'm doing is stirring the poppy seeds all the way through, so you have to give stir that uh, very well, very thoroughly through. Because you don't want lumps of uh, poppy seeds in uh, any certain part of the bar of soap. So make sure they're all thoroughly mixed through. We, in this batch we put a, tea, a tablespoon and a half um, of uh, poppy seeds. Very simple, you can buy them anywhere basically. We buy them in bulk. Makes it very easy. We use them in our workshops, soap making workshops. And you can see there, it's still quite runny, which is which is good. It hasn't continued to harden at this stage. So I have mixed that thoroughly enough. And now I'm just going to tap off the spoon and get a spatula and get the rest of that off. Don't want to waste any of this stuff. Now it's ready for pouring into the soap mold. Now we've got our soap mold here. It's lined with cling wrap or cling film uh, to protect the wood. Uh, if we didn't have the cling wrap, it would soak into the wood and it's very hard to remove from the mold. So just a nice steady, constant pour there. And you get the excess out with the spatula. Just use that again. You can see that I've got rubber gloves on, long sleeves as I said. This just helps with lye safety. Nice and easy to scrape the bottom of the barrel. This um, spatula is a silicon one. Uh, you don't want to have plastic spatulas because they actually do start to melt. It's very hot and the uh, caustic soda that's still active in the soap mixture uh, will react with the plastic and it will melt. So use a silicon spatula, best one to use for soap making. So I'm getting every single bit out there. But I think it's probably still a little bit more, we'll have a look. Yes, I did miss some. too precious to waste this stuff okay now you notice how the it's not level so to get it level all I simply do is gently lift it from the bottom these wooden molds have a, um, a, a bottom that just pops out so all I do is give it a bit of a jiggle and that levels it all out you see that you don't get too excited but a nice simple jiggle there and that levels it all out which is great now to protect the top because we want the surface nice and smooth 
get a piece of cardboard and we pop that over the top and then we just simply wrap the cling wrap over. And that just keeps the cardboard in place. And now we insulate the mould because we want it to cool down slowly over the next 24 hours. Rapid cooling can uh, discolour your soap. It can also accelerate the soap into what's known as gel phase. Sometimes people like gel phase because it clears the soap up a little bit. Don't prefer it. So we just wrap it up, keep it insulated. The soap is very warm because you've warmed your oils up and the lye is very warm as well. So you keep it like that, like that for about 24 hours. Big thumbs up. 24 hours and then you can cut your soap. Now remember that you can pop over to littlegreenworkshops.com.au and pick up many of our soap making kits and we also have bars of soap for sale as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.